Hey guys, it's me Sean and today I'm gonna show you how to factory reset or hard reset your iOS device. This works with the iPhone 6s which I have here today, the iPhone 6s Plus, the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 5s, 5c, iPhone 5 and iPhone 4s. Basically it works on any iOS device including the iPod Touch, the new iPad and the old ones. In order to get this process started, we are going to power off the device. You don't need the passcode or anything, as I said, because one of the main reasons for needing a hard reset is for if your device gets disabled. So right now we are going to power off the device. Just wait a few seconds to ensure that the device has completely powered off. Now I have my lightning USB cable connected to my computer. I'm going to press and hold the home button and connect my lightning USB cable to my device. I need to remain holding the home button. Do not release the home button. This notification will pop up along with iTunes on my computer screen. So we're just going to switch across to the computer screen so I could show you the rest of the process. This notification pops up where it says that there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So I'm going to click restore. Another pop-up appears. It asks if I am sure that I want to restore the iPhone to its factory settings because all of my media will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed on that device. So seeing that I no longer have access to the device and also wish to factory reset it, remove all content and settings from the device, I will go ahead and click restore and update. It's extracting the software and it is preparing the iPhone for restore. So as you can see, the iPhone now reboots and iTunes is waiting for the iPhone. It's verifying the iPhone restore with Apple and it is now preparing the iPhone for restore and the restore process has begun. As you can see, this bar on the phone screen has begun loading, verifies the iPhone software and the restore process has been completed. If we move over, we will see that the iPhone has restarted. I'm just going to wait for a few seconds so that the reboot can be completed and it can be detected by iTunes again. And here you have it, the welcome screen that you would have seen when you first received your iPhone and you removed it from the box. Slide to set up. So we're just going to run through this, just going to slide, select my Wi-Fi network. We're just going to run through the setup process, enable location services, set up touch idle later, continue, don't add a passcode, continue. And here, if you had an iCloud backup, you will be able to restore it or you could restore from an iTunes backup, but I'm going to set up as a new iPhone. It has to sign in with my Apple ID. Let's suppose we don't have an Apple ID. We will skip that. Set up later in settings. Agree to Apple's terms and conditions. Turn on Siri later. Send to Apple. Don't share. Zoomed. And here you have it. Welcome to iPhone. Click get started. And you have successfully restored, hard reset or factory reset your new iPhone. It is back to its out of the box condition. Any bugs, software issues would have been completely erased and the phone is practically brand new on the inside. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you need any help with any other issues, feel free to just drop a comment or send me an email. I will be more than happy to make a video to show you how to solve your problem or I can simply answer you directly.